Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. I am your host, Anand Jr., and uh, this week we've been doing a, uh, a look at the games of my youth. I've been jokingly calling this bit interludes if, on all the signage and whatnot because uh, th this is that little fun space between the end of the season and the end of the year. I wasn't sure how long Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic was going to take. So, and, and I didn't want to start up season two this close to Christmas and New Year's. Um, I also wanted an opportunity to check out the new game format. So I, I'm doing this little series of vignettes on different games of my youth. I'm going through the ones that I played on the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System, way back in the 80s and early 90s. Two buttons and all its 8-bit glory. Real 8-bit, not this fake 8-bit stuff that's posing. Um, real 8-bit glories. I went through some of the side-scrollers, some of the time wasters, a couple of the adventure games I gave you a little taste of. Obviously, I can't do a full run through the adventure games because there, there just ain't enough time. Uh, you know, Zelda, Zelda 2, and uh, Faxanadu, and Crystallis were games that I spent hours on. Um, they each and of themselves would definitely about be a good 60 hours worth of gameplay, uh, each of them, to run through the entire game. I'm sure there's somebody out there who's going to do a speedrun challenge and try to get it done in two hours flat. Good luck to you. And for all I know, you probably could do it. I mean, um, I, while I was doing the games re season one of Games Revisited and playing Knights of the Old Republic, somebody actually did a three and a half hour speed run of it just to show me that it could be done. <laughs> and, and that was actually kind of fun to watch. So anything's possible. This is the uh, sixth episode in the Nintendo series. So if you've been watching live, you've seen the whole thing except for that one little glitch somewhere in the middle uh, where something happened and I either got bumped off or I hit the wrong button. Uh, either one is equally possible. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit up a little bit of the cleanup crew. You see, when the Nintendo Entertainment System came out, they also brought back with them some classics and ports and that sort of thing. And one of the classics that uh, originally came out for the Atari and some of the earlier systems and was in the arcade is Rampage. It was also ported out to the Nintendo Entertainment System. This is actually the version that I played. I never played the Atari version of Rampage. I played the Nintendo version of Rampage. And so, again, look at the copyrights. We're talking about 86, 88. Um, so, late 80s. This is about as good as the graphics got. You picked George or <laughs> George or Lizzie. Uh, ever going concern over Megavitamin. Sure, we'll pick Lizzie. Then Lizzie. Oh wait, uh, well I guess that is about the right time. And yeah, this was the game. Your your goal was to uh, destroy things and eat people and break buildings. And and this was this was it. I. If you had two controllers, you could actually go through and uh, and have two people go, and it was just a question of who was going to manage the most damage, and who was going to get the most points, who was going to not die. Especially with that guy coming. It might be tempting to uh, think that having uh, the dynamite guys blow up the building be uh, worthwhile because, uh, but that is the, the, that's points that you weren't getting. Come on, eat them! Ah. And this was the game. This was another one of those time waster type games. 
where you just went from level to level and you were trying to to break buildings and things. Oh yeah. The hitboxes were always fun. Trying to get the buildings across. I, I remember spending many hours with my friend. Just uh, talking about this, that, and the other. Playing this. Playing, uh... Oh, what else did we play around this time? Yeah, obviously Super Mario Brothers, because that was one of the things that, you know... If you had the Nintendo, you had Super Mario Brothers. Uh, it was one of the games that came with the system. If you were really high priced, then you would get the uh, get Duck Hunt along with it. Get your hit points up by eating people. Wrong button. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. And that was it. That was the game. Just run around, break stuff. It was an excellent one of those time waster games. I had a lot of fun playing it. Uh, I, I could probably sit here for a couple of hours and just mindlessly break buildings. But uh, I do have things that need to be done, so let's finish that one. And where was one of the other ones? Um, oh, Burger Time. Yes, this is another Atari port. A game that came from the Atari and then was re-released for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh So you'll notice the copyright 1982. It started off around the time the Atari was on its decline and the Nintendo was coming up. And uh, one or two players and your, your basic, <laughs> your goal is to make burgers. Yeah, if this has, uh, gets you all nostalgic for shades of, um, of Donkey Kong, the original Donkey Kong. Where you actually had a uh, an angry ape throwing barrels at you. For those of you that remember what Donkey Kong used to be. Ooh. Run away! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, he got me. And this is what you were doing. You're you're just running running around, walking on the burgers, which can't be sanitary. Uh, <laughs> knocking stuff down, running away from the sausages and the eggs. I'm sure there's something slightly Freudian in that. I prefer not to think about that too much. And this is the game. I, I remember my aunts and uncles playing this uh, on on the Atari and just having a grand old time. Oh, oh, wrong button. Oh, that's right. I'm out of pepper. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can at least uh, win a level before I move on to the next game. It's not looking like it, folks. Yeah, I'm not I'm not dodging the AI all that well. Well, I say I, I should put air quotes around that AI. Um because we're not talking about something terribly sophisticated. Not at this juncture anyway. Nope. I guess it helps if I was actually on the uh Yeah, no, not gonna happen. Oh well. But this was another one of those fun time wasters that originally started life as an arcade game before it got ported out to the Atari and the Nintendo and all that. And, uh, come on, come on. Up the ladder, up the ladder. No, no, no! 
Oh, I almost had it. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those games that started life as an arcade game and then got ported to the Atari and ported it to the Nintendo. And, and oh, yeah, good times. All right. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. All right, let me close the content and my last one that I wanted to do for this final segment of the week is I wanted to go play another old favorite. If I can get to the right directory that has the games and hopefully by uh by next week I can fix whatever it is that's causing RetroArch to not uh recognize some of the game ROMs. We get to Galaga. Yes, if you uh, were paying attention in Iron Man. Uh, no, sorry, one of the Avengers movies when Tony Stark is going, and that man there is playing Galaga. This is the game. All hail the 80s. Again, this was another arcade port over to the Atari. And yeah. You're shooting bugs in space. Why? Because the 80s. I don't know. And it was hard to make some concepts work. But this, this is the game. This is your skill. You're, you're trying to shoot down bugs in space. Now... Oh yeah, without dying. Always without dying. Come on. Gotcha. There we go. Stage 2. Oh, yeah, and they do shoot back. And they move. Mash those buttons. Feed them quarters. Although now it's the arcade in your home. Although, uh, by the time by the time we start hitting Galaga in your NES, we're, we're starting to hit uh, the early... Early stage nostalgia. Because uh, at this point, the game had been out a little while. I'm trying, I'm trying to talk. This is not one that I'm going to be able to talk and play at the same time. Well, yeah, this is definitely one of the oh, number hits. 20! Yay! 2K bonus points. Boop. Is it going to embarrass me with my uh, hit and miss stats? Oh, wait, no. That's not until you die. Like, die, die. I still got one more life. I still have no more lives. Yep, definitely one of the classic button mashers. Test your skill and your coordination and, uh, and your luck. There we go. Shots fired, 268. Number of hits, 133. Hit to miss ratio, 49.6%. I should be ashamed of that. <laughs> All right, so, you know, there we go. I'm going to back that up. And uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end not just the recording, but the live stream. So let me go ahead and get over to my credits there. Probably gonna have to find a new home for the uh, for the scene switcher. Uh, I might find a little space somewhere else because right now it's I've got the mic and then it's over here where I can't really see what I'm hitting. But that behind the scenes, pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. Uh, this is where if you're watching on YouTube, I encourage you to subscribe as content is going to come out at least five or six episodes a week that is the new plan going forward we're going to see how that works by doing a couple of test runs with this uh interludes nostalgia series and right now i'm doing a survey of the games of my youth this week has been the nes the nintendo entertainment system next week will be the super nintendo so next Thursday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, join me on Twitch or Mixer. Links are down below in the description. And uh, watch as I go through some of the Super Nintendo games of my youth. 
Um, I don't know if I'm going to run as many back to back to back. I'm probably going to try to um, leave a little bit of time in the middle so I can update the um, the the Twitch and Mixer pages so that way they show the right game during the stream. Because uh, I had a couple of people that popped in and left, and I think it's because they were looking for Super Mario Brothers and did not get it. So I'm going to try to be a little bit more on the ball on that next time. This is the learning process. So we've only had Season 1. This is the interludes. Season 2 should be starting in January. So definitely subscribe, and if you want to watch live, Mixer or Twitch if you're already there, um, or you're just now coming there, um, do make sure you follow so you get notified when I go live. I also stream on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, Coffee Craft. It is a uh, Let's Play Minecraft Survival server with Rayest and Arcadius, and we're going to start up Season 1 in January, and we will have a new member of the server, and we'll talk more about that on Tuesdays. So with all that said and done, I'm going to say thank you, have fun, and uh, see you next time.